A blessed day to you all. My name is Peter Lino from Sydney, Australia. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. For those who regularly follow these video reflections, contributors like myself are referred to as hope givers. In all honesty, the reality is that it's not always the case that we find ourselves in situations wherein it's easy to be a hope giver. A little over two months ago, on the eve of her birthday, in a few days just before Mother's Day, we received the dreaded news that my wife had breast cancer. I've heard of stories and seen so many scenes in movies, but nothing prepares you for that moment. To date, the hardest thing that I have ever done as a parent is to break the news to our children. Our kids are all adults, but it didn't make it any easier. I'd be lying to you if I were to tell you that the first thing that came to mind was hope. There was, in fact, the initial sadness and fear as we entered this uncharted territory for us as a family and as a Christian. When the tears we shed had dried up and the looming clouds of darkness had cleared, the promise of the hope we have in Christ started to shine. There was that quiet assurance of God being the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. In today's gospel, little is said about how Jesus felt, having been made aware of the plot by the Pharisees to put him to death. A natural response, he withdrew from that place. How often during difficult and challenging times do we as Christians opt to shy away from the various services and ministries we may be part of. Do I always feel like being a hope giver? Lord, let me deal with this first. Let me sort things out first. Then I can go back to serving you and your people. Despite the threat to his life, he continued with his mission with many people following him and him curing them all. It would have been quite understandable if Jesus said to his disciples, I would prefer to be alone and please try to keep these people away from me for now. Instead, he cures not one or two or handful. He cured them all. Talk about selfless love and service. Here is a true servant. The Gospel of Matthew has a lot of references to the Old Testament. Verses 18 to 21 in today's reading is one of them, which is a direct reference to Isaiah 42, verses 1 to 4. These verses basically are a confirmation of Jesus' mission as a servant of the Lord and the way he served, which is in meekness and mildness. The line, however, that stands out for me today in today's reading is the last line. And in his name, the Gentiles will hope. And in his name, the Gentiles will hope. I started off by sharing my personal circumstance. There may be some of you watching or listening at this very moment and are going through one of the darkest seasons in your lives. There's nothing that I can say that will take away that heavy feeling that you are experiencing. But I can pray with you in the same way that Jesus, that in the same way Jesus cured all that followed him today. In today's gospel, may he cure you and your loved ones. May he ease that pain or hurt that is gripping you this very moment. And as it was said in today's reading, and in his name, may we all find our true hope. May you all have a blessed day.